Today's subscriber shout out goes to Our World Cheyenne. Thank you for subscribing and being a subscriber. And today's commenter shout out goes to Pierce Dislikes You. Thank you for commenting and watching my videos. Now, let's get into the video. Welcome to youtube.com slash noblewoos. And today, we are going to be looking at the new navigator changes and events. This update just came out today. I took a quick look at it, like a, just a glance, but I didn't really look into it that much. And one of you guys asked me to make this video because you said it was really confusing. And there were a lot of things you just like didn't understand and know about it. So yeah, let's go check it out. Hey Woozins, we know how much you love creating awesome units in Woos World. And we know that it's not always easy to show off your design skills to other Woozins. That's why we're introducing two new tools to help all of our Woozins get the recognition they deserve. Introducing Units Categories and Events. Units Categories. Now there's an easy way to find the type of units you're looking for. Maybe you're looking to play some games, or shop some boutiques, or maybe you're just looking to hang out. With the new layout of the Navigator, you can do just that. Check out the Units category section of the Navigator and browse through the different sections. This is a picture under it, and honestly, it looks really cool. I like the little icons. This is definitely going to make it so much easier and so much better to find the kind of units you're looking for. Units Creators. If you want your units to appear in these new sections, you'll need to assign a category to each of your units. Simply open your unit settings and then choose a category. Okay, so yeah, this looks really easy. It's just at the bottom. You can just like choose a category for your units and then everybody will be able to see it. And this is going to be great for like getting people to your unit because it always takes forever to get people into your unit without advertising. Like you just have to sit there and wait. Events! I'm so happy that they brought events back. If you guys didn't know, events used to be a thing in Woos World, but then they removed it. And I've literally been begging Woos World to add events back. Like, you guys have probably heard me mention it in multiple of my videos. I know for a fact I've asked them to bring events back in multiple of my videos. So I am so incredibly happy that they finally did. Anyway, let's read it. Events. Discovering new units is great, but what if you're looking to socialize? Using the new events section of the navigator, you can see all kinds of different events that are going on right now, or check out some that are coming up later. Browse the upcoming events and choose the event you want to attend. You can let the owner know you're interested by clicking on the subscribe button. Once you subscribe to an event, you will receive a reminder to let you know it's starting to make sure you don't miss any of the action. What? Okay, that is totally new. Um, the subscribe thing was not there last time, and neither was the ability to see future events. I think that is really, really cool. I think this would be amazing for a meet and greet, or like if I were to host any events for you guys. The only thing I wish they would add though is like maybe keys back or like some type of system that I could like use as tickets. Cause like it would be really cool if you could host an event, like for example in a meet and greet, um, and you could like have people buy tickets or keys to get in so that you know who's all going. And they don't even have to buy it, you could just give it to them for free. Um, it would still just be really cool to know who is all going. And also, it would prevent people such as like trolls going. You'll find a list of all the upcoming events you've subscribed to in my subscribed events under the events section of the navigator. Wow, this is so cool. It even like shows you the date and when it starts and ends. And it looks like you can add descriptions again. <gasps> Yeah, I need to check this out, you guys. Want to host your own events? No prob. Make your way to the events section of the navigator and find my hosted events. From there, you can click on create events and choose a date, place, and time for your events. You can schedule your events 30 days in advance, so make sure you plan ahead. You'll need some time to spread the word about the events of the season. You'll also need to be at least level 15 to host your own events. 30 days is such a long time. And I kind of like how you have to be level 15 to host your own events because I feel like they did that to prevent all those annoying exposing units that people do on like spare accounts that are like level 1 or 2. So now if somebody wants to make a stupid unit like that, they have to work for it and be level 15 first. That, they were really smart to do that. That was really smart of them. This is so cool you guys. And before you actually couldn't like put a date and time and all that when you wanted to make an event. It was kind of just there. So yeah, this is definitely an improvement from last time and I really like it. I want you guys to let me know what you think. Wondering how many events you can host? Look no further, we've got the answer for you. VIPs will have access to schedule 20 events at once, while non-VIPs will be able to schedule 5 events at once. Of course, this is what is in place for the early access. Nothing is set in stone, so there may be some changes in a future update. Happy hosting, Woozins! Okay, I really want to check this stuff out, so I'm going to open the navigator and see what is going on. Okay, I see units categories. And yeah, this is a screenshot of what I saw on news. I really like the icons, especially the one for roleplay. 
as you can see, we click on fashion, we see all these shops, um, games, there's a bunch of games, parties, role playing, like high school. Yeah, I'm seeing high schools, I'm seeing backyards, I'm seeing houses, I'm seeing a temple. This stuff is really cool. Boutique. Um, yeah, there's also a lot of shops here too. I think boutique is where you're supposed to put your shops, but I guess some people put them in fashion as well. Okay, now if we click events, we can see all the events and it says, check out the list of events that are happening right now. Visit your fave events before it ends. And you can see how long until these events end. That one has like two seconds left. This is super cool, guys. This one says zero seconds and it's still on there. Let's see. Oh, yep, it's gone. And there's some more on there now. Most anticipated. I think these are the events that have a lot of subscribers. I mean, that's what I'm assuming with the word anticipated. Like, a lot of people are waiting for these events to start, or like, they're really just wanting to go to these events. Okay, yeah, so obviously I don't have any subscribed events, but I'm gonna subscribe to one and see what happens. How do I do that, though? Let's subscribe uh, to this one, CC Bundle. Oh, event details. Oh my gosh, guys, you can see how many people are like subscribed to the event. It says one person is interested in this event. This is so cool. I'm gonna subscribe. You know, there's a big red unsubscribe button. Okay, I'm going to see what this new event creation system looks like. Um, where? Okay, so I'm going to pick my spin to win because it's like right there. And I'm obviously going to name it and give it a description. I actually did want to host a spin to win later. Um, well, not later, but soon. So I guess I'll do it tomorrow. Let's see. Definitely not at 4.30 in the morning. I think that would be a little um, too early in the day. I will say 3.45 p.m. And it will end... Uh, honestly, I'm just gonna put the longest one because I have no idea when it will end. So guys, let's see if I remember this tomorrow. Hopefully I do. I might not. I'm at the unit now and I was gonna do the category thing, but I should probably change the title as well because it says open. Even though this unit is private, I will make it public. And let's see, category, fashion game. Obviously this is a game, so we're gonna put game. Okay, now I'm gonna save it. And now if we go to events and click upcoming, let's see if we can find my event. Yep, my event is right there and it starts in 19 hours and 55 minutes. I just got a notification for the unit that I subscribed to. It said, the event CC bundle is starting soon. That is so cool. All right, so as you can see, if I go to game, my unit is now in the game section. I want you guys to tell me your opinions on this new update in the comments. Personally, I love it. It's going to make everything so much easier. Now you don't have to really advertise and you don't really have to sit there for like 10 minutes just to wait for one person to come to your unit anymore. I hope this video um, helps some of you guys who are confused because I know, like I said, one of you was confused and told me that I should make the video. But yeah, that's all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I love you guys so much and goodbye.